Welcome to an Unruly Guide step-by-step -step video. This video is part of our tutorials that offer step-by-step -step guidance through ebook formatting, book cover design, print on demand, and more. In this video, I'll show you how you add and delete images. To insert a file into one of your pages, choose the page that you want. In this case, we're choosing cover and select the menu icon Insert File from the menu bar. The Insert File pop-up window will appear and it'll show you all the images that you have already for your ebook, including video and audio files. You can select one from the list or you can upload a new file from your computer by clicking Other Files. Choose the image or images you wish to upload and select Open. In this case, we'll be uploading a cover image. You can see here that the image has been placed on the page. It has also been added to your Images folder. If you double-click the image in the Images folder and scroll to the bottom, it will show you the file size and the dimensions of the image. Now in the previous video I showed you how to set the semantics and you want to make sure that the semantics for your cover image is also set. So let's just do that now. You would right click the image and select semantics cover. Now let's add another image to one of the text pages. Place your cursor where you would like the image to be and select insert image from the menu bar. Notice that the cover image is now listed in the files in your book. You can choose that as one of the images, or you can browse for another file by clicking Other Files. To place the image on the page, you select it and click Open. Notice that the image is now placed in the exact location where you had your cursor. If the location is an error, you can actually delete the image and replace it, or you can actually move the coding but replacing is usually a lot easier. If you want to add several images to your images folder, I do not recommend that you place the images on a page using the insert file. Instead, right click the images folder and select add existing files. By doing so and using the shift button, you can actually select more than one image at a time to add to your images folder. Browse to the location of your files Hold the shift button down and select the images you wish to add to your images folder. Then click open. Notice now that all the images are listed in the images folder. So let's say we wanted to add an image to chapter 2. Select the chapter 2 page from the book browser and place your cursor in the exact location you would like to place an image. Now go up to the menu and click insert file. Now remember all your images, video, and audio files will be listed in this Insert File pop-up menu. Choose the image that you would like to insert and click OK, or browse for another file by using the option Other Files. Take note that when you select an image, the dimensions and the file size is shown in the lower right. Let's say there are several images that you're not planning to use in your book. It's always good to delete unused images to keep the file size of your ebook as small as possible. Holding down your Shift button, select all the images you wish to delete. With the file selected, right click and choose Delete. The Delete Files pop up window will display. Now, if you notice there's an image that you chose that you do not wish to delete, you simply uncheck the box next to the image that you wish to keep before you select Delete Mark Files. Now note, if you delete an image from the Images folder and it has actually been placed on a page in your ebook, it will show as a broken image and this will also show in your final ebook. You either need to replace the image into your Images folder with the exact name, delete the image from the page and replace it, or just delete the image from the page completely. The easiest way is to delete it and replace it if you need to. To delete the image, place your cursor between the image and the location of the beginning letter or paragraph of where it was located. 
and hit the delete button. In the next video, I'll show you how easy it is to create a linkable table of contents plus the logical table of contents or TOCNCX file.